Hey kids, Joe here, and I want to talk to you about four-wheel drive, its different modes, the different types, and why it's important to always use the right setting. We are currently sitting in my 2017 Ram. I bought this used, it has 34,000 miles on it, and it's in extremely good shape, except for one thing. I'm holding it because I'm stationary, but when I travel down the freeway, the wheel is about like that. And uh, really quick, it's currently in two-wheel drive. If you're a tech out there, can you guess why when it's in two-wheel drive, it's like that? Don't worry, I'm not a thirst trap for follow, so I'm not going to make you watch to a part two or something. The fact is, this truck has been in a four-wheel auto its entire life. How do I know that? Well, it was in four-wheel auto when I test drove it, and there hasn't been snow in like a year here. So, yes, this truck has been in four-wheel drive its entire life because the previous owner was lacking in the knowledge on not to do that. That means my alignment was done, or when they put these new tires on it, they aligned it in four-wheel drive. It also means the dealership aligned it while it was in four-wheel drive, which they should not have done. So this has the print right next to the radio, but anyways, underneath it, you have four-wheel auto, four-wheel lock, four-wheel low, and two-wheel drive. This is where it should be 90% of the time, unless you are in a low traction situation, then you switch it to four-wheel auto. If you're in deep snow, sand, whatever, you put it in four lock. If you're trying to climb up the side of a mountain, you put it in four low. That's the way a two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive system operates. It's different from an all-wheel drive system. That is my 2001 Lincoln Navigator with the 32-valve Cobra motor, and it has all-wheel drive, which means all four wheels are getting traction all the time. However, there is a big difference between a two-wheel, four-wheel setup and an all-wheel drive setup. An all-wheel drive setup has a lot more slip in its four-wheel drive system to allow it to a turn. That's why if you ever lock a four-wheel drive system and you try to turn, it jumps, er, 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 but it doesn't do it in an all-wheel drive because angle sensors and you know mechanical, the way they're put together, they can detect when you have full lock going, things like that. It also means that that is always in four-wheel drive, so the alignment is correct. The only way to keep this alignment correct would be to leave it in four-wheel auto. However, that would prematurely wear out my four-wheel drive system. Rams, Dodge, whatever you want to call it, are notorious for having front ends wear out on them, regardless of what year it is. My 06 has had the front end rebuilt twice. This thing will need it probably in the next 50,000 miles. Luckily, my truck is soidified.